Hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel, Pete Melody. I decided to do this outside today to get a little change of scenery. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Ariel Judd, and I do post-grad videos here on YouTube. And if you saw my puppy, her name is Melody. Um, so today, I'm going to be talking about apartment financing, I suppose. It... So today I'm going to be talking about how much was my apartment, how much did I have to pay for it, did I have to pay a deposit, how much did I have to pay to furnish it, did I have to buy a bunch of stuff for it, we're going to talk all about that in this video today. Melody's just running wild, but first things first, how much did it cost to actually get my apartment? So I did it months in advance and I got my apartment in Columbia, Missouri. And Columbia, Missouri is a college town, so there's these like um, apartment complexes all over the city that are geared for college students. So they have a space usually that has multiple rooms and then a common living area where like two, three, four people can live in the same apartment and they can all have separate leases and that is how my apartment is. So I have a separate lease from my other three roommates. Every one of us has a separate lease and currently my rent is $478. And I'm going to tell y'all what all that encompasses. So my base rent, and if you don't know what base rent is, base rent is literally like how much you pay for the rent itself like to live there in that place my base rent is 410 dollars my utilities so i don't have to pay utilities every month i have a utility package that is included in my rent and so that by itself is $60 so unless i go over that $60 a month i don't have to pay for utilities other than what is included in my rent. Also, the extra $8, that is for the valet trash. So every so often, I forget which day it is, but they come out and they pick up my trash. If we put trash out there in front of our door, um, they come and pick it up. And that is a very nice service that I've never seen before. And I totally love that I'm going to be getting that service whenever I move in there. Hello everyone, I just needed to pop on here and kind of put in some more info that I didn't do while I was outside. Um, I was asked to divulge on how much I saved to get this apartment. Whenever I signed the lease, the funds weren't due up front, but they are due before uh, my lease starts. But I paid those well in advance. I paid them like right after I signed my lease. And so there was my rent, right? That includes my base rent, utilities, and valet trash. And I also had about $100 in move-in fees. So just be prepared whenever you are getting an apartment to have some move-in fees. So right off the get-go, it was about 560 or so. And it would have been more if I had to pay a security deposit. And usually a security deposit is the same amount as like one month's rent. So if I had a security deposit, I would have had to pay upwards of 900 thousand dollars so i'll be prepared to save up at least two three times the amount of rent that you're going to want to pay to be able to get that apartment let's talk deposits so i do not have to pay a deposit for this apartment um, i know that is pretty rare because usually whenever you get an apartment you have to pay a security deposit they were trying to recruit so many people so sometimes in college towns they waive the security deposit they're trying to recruit people and so they waive the security deposit and i'm also getting a gift card that's going to be worth three hundred dollars um, because they wanted to pull people in and so i would always look out for that if you're in a college town and you have all these complexes everywhere i would look out for that and i would ask them if they do something like that um, additionally the application fee was waived but a lot of application fees are a couple hundred dollars at least and so i would budget that in whenever you're looking for an apartment to even apply for the apartment you have to pay money um let's talk at so my apartment complex does allow pets. However, if she wasn't an emotional support animal, I would have had to pay a pet deposit. And I wouldn't have, well, it's called a pet fee because I wouldn't be able to get that back. It's one time 
pet fee. And um, a lot of places also make you pay monthly pet rent as well. But since she's an emotional support animal, I don't have to do that. I don't even have to pay the fee. I don't have to pay monthly pet rent because it's against law. So if you're looking to bring a pet into your apartment, then I would look into getting them emotionally support certified because yes, you will have to pay what, 100 to $200 for that emotional support certification. However, you'd be paying a lot more in the long run if you didn't have that. So if you qualify for that and you can get that emotional support letter from your mental health provider, then I would suggest doing that. But, okay, so I covered base rent, utilities, and my valet trash. Everything else including my apartment complex. It was the pool, the gym, the computer lab, volleyball court, all of that is included. And I don't have to pay anything extra for those amenities because they want to make life for you as comfortable as possible. So if you get something like this, then there's probably amenities that you can use on a daily basis. So I would look out for that. I toured probably seven places and this place definitely had more for like the amount of money that I'm paying. So a lot of other places were more expensive and they had less amenities. Some places were more expensive and had more amenities, but this is what worked for me. So now I'm going to talk about how much it costs to actually put stuff in this apartment. So I'm not moved in yet, but I have pretty much everything that I need for this apartment. So my apartment comes furnished, so I don't have to provide any of that furniture that you would normally have to provide whenever you get a new apartment. So I can't talk in respect to how much it costs to physically furnish the furniture aspect of the apartment. However, to like buy pots and pans, your bedroom stuff decor, all of that, it's gonna become expensive. Like for my decor, I probably spent, just for my room, like well over $100 for decor. Pots and pans, I got for free from my grandma, but that would easily be over $50. So, like I was saying, my pots and pans, I didn't have to pay for them, but they would have been well over $50 for a set of pots and pans. My bedspread set, 50 bucks. Plates, if you're gonna get like a set of dishes, that's around $50. It costs a lot to move into your first place. Kitchen stuff alone is gonna be pretty expensive because the more appliances you want, the more it's gonna cost. So like if you want a crock pot, it's gonna cost you money. If you want an air fryer, it's gonna cost you money. If you want a toaster, it's gonna cost you money. And so you just need to be prepared to have a budget for all these things. And I recommend buying little by little. I didn't buy this all at once. I bought it little by little. I already had a lot of my kitchen stuff because I've had an apartment before. This is just like my first official part, first time ever signing a lease, stuff like that. However, I have had an apartment before, so I've accumulated things over these years that I've been in college. And so I recommend getting it little by little. If you do have to pay a security deposit whenever you move out, you need to make sure that the place is spotless and that it doesn't want there's any damage in it because you'll probably be able to get that security deposit back. If the place is dirty and damaged, then you're not going to get that back. And you can't always bet on getting that security deposit back whenever you move out. So if you don't get it back, then I would suggest talking to your landlord and seeing why you didn't get it back because they can't hold it for no reason. And so they have to let you know the reasons for holding that security deposit. And also, if you do damage something, then they should be able to find out specifically what each thing charges in that apartment. Like, if you break some blinds, they should have it listed how much it would be to replace those. If you break a door, it should be listed on how much it is to replace that, and so on and so forth. So just make sure you read over your entire lease from top to bottom. I know there's a lot of words, stuff that you might not understand, but if you don't understand, then just look it up. So please read your lease. Please know all of the little details that are in your lease because it might come and bite you in the butt because you didn't read it. Just make sure you're getting the best deal for your money and check and see if they're doing any of those like promotional things like the gift cards sometimes they give away like tvs or something instead of a gift card like i have the option between getting a gift card and getting other things but obviously i want the money um so also just wait and suss out and see if 
they will waive your application fees and uh, because if they're if they're in desperate need of people to move in there then they're gonna want you in any way possible so if you say you don't want to pay two hundred dollars for an application then they might waive it if you haven't seen my previous video go watch that it was uh 10 things you shouldn't do whenever you're going into college as a freshman so please go watch that I hope you enjoy it. I hope you like this video. If you did, like, comment, subscribe. Go follow my Instagram and my TikTok. And be kind to one another. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.